Once you've mastered the water start and you're able to constantly perform controlled rides to both directions, it's time to practice riding on an upwind course, as this is the most important step in becoming an independent kite surfer. You first want to be aware of the wind direction and the different angles you'll be able to kite to in relation to the wind. This is what we refer to as our course. Let's have a look at the three different courses we can ride. To ride upwind means to be heading towards the direction of the wind at an angle. Be aware that you can only go against the wind up to a certain angle. No wind-driven object can travel directly against the wind. To be reaching a target directly upwind of your position, you'll have to perform several legs going upwind. In other words, you'll have to zigzag. Half wind means to be heading in a 90 degree angle to the wind direction. Your back will face the wind's direction and you'll ride at an approximate angle of 90 degree towards the wind. To ride downwind means to be riding almost the same direction the wind is blowing to. Every course from 90 degrees towards the wind and exactly in the same direction to where the wind is blowing is to be referred as downwind. Learning to ride upwind efficiently is a necessary requirement for every kite surfer. Let's focus on how to ride on an upwind course. Your body position, combined with a good kite control, is key to success. Make sure to obtain good riding speed first to be able to place the kite stable at 45 degrees without sinking into the water. Once riding at a stable velocity, start by bending your back knee while shifting your body weight far over your back leg. This will bring your center of gravity towards your back foot. At the same time, raise the toes of your front foot up. This will transfer your weight onto your heels and allow the board to edge into the water. Keep your body tense and twist your upper body, hip, and front shoulder towards your riding direction. While opening your upper body towards your riding direction, it can help to focus on a point at the horizon that is upwind of you. Another helpful hint is to push out the bar while edging. This will make the kite travel more to the edge of the wind window and reduce your drag downwind. Just depower your kite up to the point that still allows you to ride. As the wind and your velocity often fluctuates, you want to constantly keep adjusting your bar pressure. Power up the kite by pulling the bar in when losing power and push the bar out when the power comes back. Fine adjustments will help to stay in motion. Going upwind too much will reduce your speed. If you slow down too much, remember to pull on the bar or fly sinus curves to power your kite up again and edge slightly less for a moment to regain some speed. Let's remember the key elements. Ride along with good speed and the kite at 45 degrees. Shift your weight over your back leg. Open your upper body towards the riding direction. Maintain speed by adjusting your bar pressure. Enjoy your ride with Duotone Kiteboarding Academy.